CSI 2140 Analyze Mode Spectra up to 4 channels. My name is Johan van Pijnbroek and in this video tutorial I will show you how to collect simultaneously up to 4 channels with the CSI 2140 Machinery Health Analyzer. What you're seeing now in front of you is a home screen of the CSI 2140 Machinery Health Analyzer. If you want to collect four spectra simultaneously in the Analyze mode, go to F7 Analyze and in the Analyze application home screen select F1 Manual Analyze. Here we will define what and how to measure and we start with set analyze mode F1. From the list of things we want to measure or can measure we will select here spectra, set to spectra parameters. Here you can specify your minimum and your maximum frequency. In this example we will measure from 0 till 2000 Hz with 1600 lines of resolution. In this module you can collect up till 6400 resolution lines. With those settings we have a resolution of 1.25 Hz per line. The next setting is set averaging F3. For most measurements set average type will be on normal average only for advanced troubleshooting, peeled hold, synchron or order can be selected. But those three other functions will be part of more advanced tutorials. Set mode F5 if you put normal mode, you can specify the number of averages, for example four averages, that means that every measurement will be repeated four times and an average spectrum will be calculated. The other option here is when you go to F5 set mode and you put monitor mode, then you convert the data collector, the CSI 2140 machinery health analyzer, as a kind of an oscilloscope to look to the signals in a live mode. The data collection will continue till the user stops collection and at that time you can store the data. That is a monitor mode, in acquire mode after the number of averages specified here, data collection will stop automatically. F4 set window. For normal vibration data, handing is a default setting. Uniform is used for impact tests with force hammers and sometimes on compressors. F5 set SST, A weighting, these are also advanced settings that will be part of other tutorials. F7 tag setup. Here you can specify what kind of tag you are using. In this application we are using a photo tag and a photo tag needs power from so tag power F5 is on and a traditional photo tag create a positive pulse so the set trigger level F8 is specified here at 2 volt and you can check immediately if those settings are ok or not by pushing F10 show RPM as you see the speed is coming in correctly so the tag is working fine F8 peak view and demodulation we will take here regular data so peak view or demodulation will be not activated here however especially peak view will be also part of separate dedicated video tutorials. F9 set trigger if trigger off data collector collection will start immediately if you specify a trigger data collection will only start when the trigger condition becomes true. For example, tech trigger, the data collection will only start when a tech pulse is measured or 
level trigger then you can specify a minimum amplitude for your vibration signal and data collection will only start when the minimum level is triggered or when the minimum speed is triggered another setting and very important here is the imp input setup F12 here you specify your sensors and as you see select input F1 here you can choose how many sensors you want to use and how many points you want to measure simultaneously in this example I have activated the four channels but of course it's the same concept if you only want to have one two three or four channels now important is here also F7 sensor setup here you specify the type of sensors and as you see sensor A in this case is an accelerometer with a standard sensitivity of 100 millivolt per engineering units and the power is on sensor B is identical and is correct and with the ALT you go to the next screen and in this case the configuration of sensor 3 and 4 is still set on displacement probes what you're seeing here is a typical example of a standard displacement probes but to be sure you always have to check your own data sheets of the day of the sensors because maybe your sensor will be different so this is still set on displacement probes and in our example we are working with four accelerometers so I have to change it and you can easily change it by pushing F2 change sensor type I convert it to an accelerometer with a sensitivity of 100 millivolt and power on and I do the same for sensor D and now my four sensors are configured the waveform is stored in G's the spectrum is displayed in velocity for channel A and for channel B but not yet for channel C and D you can change that input C I convert it to velocity and the same for D and my configuration is done when you toggle now enter you will collect the data So, the four spectra are now measured. The analysis tools that you have on the analyzer will be explained in dedicated tutorials, so they are not part of this video tutorial. So, this is when you have acquisition of data in the, with averages. If you go to setup menu and you change the average way to monitor mode, you will see that you have now a kind of a live display a kind of a four channel oscilloscope you can install a cursor on it you can change you can install a cursor everywhere on every plot and there is here one nice feature when you go to switch plot type F6 you can toggle between five plots when you push once you only see channel A another time shows channel B channel C or channel D or once again the four plots simultaneously we are now at the end of this video tutorial Please visit our website at www.assetweb.com-mhm for other video tutorials and product information. My name is Johan van Pijnbroek. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.